Columbus Day is a federal holiday established by U.S. President Franklin D. Roosevelt in 1934 to commemorate explorer Christopher Columbus' 1492 landing in the New World. However, in 1991, Native American supporters established Indigenous Peoples Day, which is observed every second Monday in October and has grown in popularity in recent years. Christopher Columbus was a Genoese explorer and adventurer best known for leading a Spanish expedition to India in search of new trade routes. King Ferdinand and Queen Isabella of Spain funded his voyage after believing that his suggestion to sail west to Asia would be fruitful. The Turks' blockade of the only known trade route from Europe to Asia and vice versa fueled their eagerness to find a new way. While Spain lagged behind, Prince Henry the navigator of Portugal was already funding voyages for the same reason. Columbus sailed west from Palos, Spain, crossing the Atlantic on August 3, 1492, following his negotiations with the Catholic monarchs. He was in command of three ships, the Nia, Pinta, and Santa Maria, as well as over 90 men. On October 12, 1492, Columbus arrived at what he thought was an Asian island but was actually the modern-day Bahamas. He spent months exploring the islands around San Salvador, the name he gave to the Bahamas, which are now part of the Caribbean. He sailed back to Spain in March 1493, leaving 40 of his men in La Natividad, the first Spanish settlement that he later discovered devastated. Columbus made four voyages to the Caribbean between 1492 and 1504. He died two years after completing his fourth voyage. President Franklin D. Roosevelt established a federal holiday to commemorate the arrival of explorer Christopher Columbus on October 12, 1934, at the request of Christian American Italians in the United States. The date was changed in 1971 to the second Monday in October, which coincided with Canadian Thanksgiving. This day is also observed in a number of Latin American countries, including the Bahamas, Discovery Day, Spain, Hispanic Day, and Belize, Day of the Americas. Furthermore, it is the season to honor Italian American heritage. The Society of St. Tammany organized the first recorded Columbus Day celebration in New York City. Public offices are typically closed on this day, whereas most private employers do not observe Columbus Day as a holiday. The Italian-American community in San Francisco organizes an annual Columbus Day parade with over 35,000 marchers that is watched by a million people. New York City follows suit. South Dakota, Hawaii, and Alaska are among the states that do not observe Columbus Day. Another school of thought holds that Columbus directed violence and destruction at Native Americans, prompting the creation of a counter-celebration, Indigenous Peoples Day or Native American Day, which is also observed every second Monday in October. They argue that honoring Columbus is offensive to many Native Americans because he initiated European colonization in the Americas, resulting in the extinction of Native populations such as the Arawaks and Taino people. Another argument was that Columbus paved the way for centuries of slave trade. On October 22, 1991, the Berkeley City Council officially adopted Indigenous Peoples Day in place of Columbus Day. The following year marked the 500th anniversary of Columbus' arrival in the Americas. 
The idea of celebrating Native Americans' heritage and contributions was announced at the first international NGO conference on discrimination against indigenous populations in the Americas, held in Geneva, Switzerland, in 1977. Nonetheless, Columbus Day was still observed in the years that followed. This great explorer won a place in history and in the hearts of all Americans because he challenged the unknown and thus discovered a new world, said U.S. President Ronald Reagan in 1984. Detractors of Columbus argued that he should not be honored after bringing slavery, disease, and death to the Caribbean during his colonization of the islands for the Spanish crown. When Columbus became governor of Hispaniola, he instituted slavery of the Taino people to work on gold mines, according to Smithsonian Magazine. Furthermore, natives over the age of 14 were forced to work in gold mines where they had to meet quotas. If they did not comply, their hands would be severed. Francisco de Bobadilla was the one who investigated and proved Columbus and his brother's tyranny and abuses on Hispaniola. In response to Bobadilla's report, Columbus and his brothers were detained in Spain for six weeks, but King Ferdinand I pardoned him and he was able to embark on another voyage. Some critics argue that celebrating Columbus Day is pointless because he was not the first European to set foot in the Americas. Aside from the Vikings, in 1497, John Cabot settled and claimed present-day Canada for England. The Spanish-Dominican friar Bartolomé de las Casas, known as the Defender and Apostle to the Indians, was among the first to criticize Columbus. Las Casas' father and grandfather were among those who accompanied Columbus on his early voyages. In 1502, he personally visited Hispaniola and began writing everything down in his journal. Las Casas protested the excesses of Spanish colonization in the Americas in his short account of the destruction of the Indies.